School administrators say Bingham High School is closed because of COVID caused issues. For example, they say there was a little bit of a labor shortage, but they also say that there was a shortage of some of the materials like sheet metal. Let's give you a look right now what you're seeing, what's going on with this school. There's a lot of construction going on upstairs We're on the second floor of Bingham High School, a lot of materials out, new lockers. There were a few workers over here. They've been working around the clock, taking those weekends and nights to do what they can to get Bingham School together for the school year. You're looking at this tile process. They're putting tiles together on the wall uh, in Bingham High School right now. We were told by the communications director too. Essentially what they're doing here, it's about uh, the size of an ele ele elementary school is what they're going to be doing for renovations. And that's been taking uh, probably about 10 weeks. But again, those COVID concerns were the reasons why there was a little bit uh, of a delay, but they're hoping for that start by August 30th here at Bingham High School. Built in 1975, a huge renovation, $38 million spent in about a six year span. And we did talk to the communications director that says they are truly doing the best that they can to get Bingham High School ready in two weeks. There's nobody that wants those students in school more than we do. It's not the way we hope to start the new school year, but we have to be flexible. And these are the cards we're being dealt right now. And number one priority is safety for students in the school. On hand today were also a couple of student uh, body leaders. They said uh, obviously they're upset that they can't start school on time, but the silver lining of this is actually during the COVID-19 pandemic, they were able to have school online. So for them, they say that this is absolutely no problem and they'll be ready to start school hopefully by August 30th. Reporting live in South Jordan, Jordan Burroughs, ABC4 News.